What's going on riders? It's Paul with another ride home review and uh, since my week didn't go as planned, I didn't get a chance to see the movie I wanted to see this week, um, unfortunately. Uh, so I might as well just uh, do a my second summer recap. Talk about the last few movies I saw, what was the best, what was the worst. Um, so July really had a lot of very good movies, a lot better than I really anticipated. And so, you know, uh, with Baby Driver and then Spider-Man Homecoming, War of the Planet of the Apes, Dunkirk, and then wrapping up July with Atomic Blonde. And then after that, I saw The Dark Tower and An Inconvenient Sequel. So those were the seven movies I saw over the past few weeks, and I must say they were a good crop of movies. But out of the top, I have to give it to Baby Driver as being not only the best movie out of this crop of, five, of seven, but I think it was the best movie of the summer for me. Um, it just had all the elements I really enjoyed. It had a great cast great story this is what fast and the furious could have been uh great cinematography great editing um i thoroughly enjoyed this movie will it will it get an oscar i don't know it's hard to say pulling a movie from july um but you know if dunkirk is is oscar worthy in people's eyes i think baby driver might be able to be at least nominated for some things I especially think sound design and editing especially now that don't get me wrong uh, <clears throat> spider-man homecoming and war for the planet of the apes I mean, were very well done movies war for the planet of the apes did a really good job in wrapping up the trilogy probably one of the best cinematic trilogies uh, out there uh, very underrated Andy circus is great this the computer generation just gets better and better and you know and the storyline just gets deeper and deeper and it's really worth the watch and spider-man homecoming it was uh great to see you know tom holland do his thing uh as spider-man and it just was a good story wrapped in um from a teenager's point of view and, and a really good fit for the Marvel Universe going, Marvel Cinematic Universe going forward. And finally, uh, you know, Dunkirk, really well done. Like the fact that it didn't have a lot of dialogue to it. And I mean, it was a really good story. And, and once again, the, the technical aspects, the aesthetics, that creative aspect of the editing and the sound um, it's really what put that movie over the top. Now, for the movies that movie that I I would say those were for the most part really good movies. And then there's The Dark Tower. The Dark Tower was one of the worst movies I've seen in a while, um, and it was disappointing because. McConaughey and Idris Elba are such wonderful talents and it's based on a story that is just absolutely incredible. I was wondering how they were going to fit it into a two hour movie and they didn't because the movie was less than two hours. I don't know how in the world they felt that they could build this world in less than two hours. A world that is as complex as the Dark Tower a series which was eight books long and none of them well I think maybe the gunslinger may have been under 200 pages but maybe but there you have it baby driver was the best movie I've seen out of this crop and the dark tower was the worst what did you guys think um, I saw some really good talented stuff going out there what did you guys think of these crops of movies and on the same vein don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and so forth. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Take care.